Hey guys, Senator Iyola Omishari, the National Secretary of the All Progressive Congress, APC, has stated that President Bola Tinubu's ministerial list is not yet complete. Omishari also stated that a list of ministerial nominees that has been making the rounds is nothing more than speculations and that the party is still conferring on the topic. The Secretary of the ABC pointed out that it was President Tinubu's prerogative to build a government of national unity and said that the incumbent would not be too large. The scrap for the APC also mentioned that there was the chance of some ministers combining or ministries combining in order to accommodate the current state of affairs. It debunked the widespread rumor that the party in power was experiencing some soft of internal crisis and said our party is as cool and calm as an ocean. According to him, so far, so good, there has not been a single dispute in our party. Regarding the individuals who are not vain for cabinet job, the secretary of the APC stated that it was everyone's right to seek positions and further their political career. Omisori, on the other hand, stated that the authority to choose rests on the, the table of the president in accordance with the constitution. In conclusion, the All Progressive Congress APC has disclosed how President Bola Tinubu will introduce his ministers as well as the fact that extensive consultations over the list are already underway. A statement made by Adulai Adamu, the national chairman of the APC, revealed that Bola Tinubu would model his 2021 campaign, 2015 campaign, after that of former President Muhammad Buhari, according to Adamu. The prospective ministers will be subjected to screening before the national legislature before having their portfolios aside. Meanwhile, in another interesting developing story, the former Minister of Education, Hobiagali Ezekwesili, has called on the members of the All Progressive Congress APC to hand over the presidency and commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria to her. Speaking via her official Twitter handle, Ezekwesili promised to tackle the insecurity in the Southeast and other parts of Nigeria if she is given an op op opportunity to read the country. She further lamented that the APC is only interested in grabbing power for the sake of power without making any changes in the country. Ezekwesili insisted that if they want any tangible developments and significant changes to be seen in the country, then they should give her a chance to rule the country. She also vowed to put those behind the insecurity situation in the Southeast to shame. She stated, they have once again confirmed on me the constitutional duties of the Nigerian president, commander-in-chief of the armed forces. However, they have not handed the office to me to urgently, decisively, and effectively tackle the, the degenerate state of insecurity in the southeast and the other parts of the country and to put those responsible to shame for those for their failure. The official BAT APC Nigeria, Nigerian governor Flux and their, their fan club are suffering from an obsession to grab power just for the sake of power. Their tropical modus operandi is one of the duplicity where they never take responsibility for anything. Inform me when you are ready to formally hand over the Commander-in-Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces position to me. Until then, calling my name is in vain, is all you can do.
Nigeria has been engulfed with insecurity for a while now, with the southeast region of the country experiencing high rates of insecurity, ranging from banditry to kidnapping and insurgents. The approach by the government to the situation has received criticism from many Nigerians. However, Ezekwisili seems confident that if given the opportunity, she can bring an end to the insecurity that has plunged the country for some time now. Also, the former Cardinal State's military governor, Colonel Abubakar Dangiwa Umar, retired, has warned President Bola Ahmed Tunubu to be conscious of lobby lists who are desperate for appointments in his cabinet. Kone Dangiwa made this known in a statement to journalists where he stressed the need for public officials to be individuals of questionable character. He further suggested that Tunubu should avoid individuals with questionable integrity that have been embroiled in financial scandals, leaving their states with heavy debt burdens. The former military governor also emphasized the need for President Tinubu to concentrate on the critical task of reclaiming a faith state of desired by or dis as described by Dr. Umaru Adoro. He said, Mr. President, I would strongly advise you to choose your door to desperate to close your door to desperate lobby list. I urge you, Mr. President, to stay clear of people who demonstrate embarrassing levels of, of desperation in their attempt to secure appointment in your government. Okay, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.